What's up guys, it's TT back in the vid. In today's video, I'll be doing my next body battle. Now, some of you might be wondering what the heck a body battle is. Well, a body battle is where I put two shows written by the same author head to head and I see which one wins. Now, let's begin the video. This body battle we have anyone who can whistle but it's merely we will along. Both of which have music and lyrics by Stephen Sondheim. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's begin. And the categories are how long did the musical play, musical play on Broadway? Two points for the year. How much did the show gross? Three points. Which musical won more Tony Awards? This includes revivals, one point for every Tony Award. The reviews, ten points. Which musical with a better plot? Fifteen points. Last ability. How long did the revival play on Broadway? Two points for every year. And high school theater, twenty-five points. How long did the show play on Broadway? Anyone Can Whistle opened on Broadway on April 4th, 1964. The show played at the Majestic Theater. The Majestic Theater has 1,614 seats. The production closed on April 26, 1964. At the time of closing, the show had played 12 previews and 9 regular performances. How long did the show play on Broadway? Merrily We Will Along started previews on October 1st, 1981 and officially opened on, on Broadway in 1960, on November 16th, 1981. The show played at the Alvin Theater, nowadays known as the Majestic Theater, which has 1,445 seats. The production closed on November 28th. At the time of closing, the show had played 44 previews and 16 regular performances. How long did the show play on Broadway? Both shows will win 0.5 points, which is very generous, considering both shows played on all months. Anyone can whistle earned 0.5 points. Merely we went along with her on 0.5 points. Did the show turn a profit? Neither show was able to turn a profit due to the fact that neither show played longer than a month. Anyone can whistle 0.5 points. Merely we went along 0.5 points. Tony Woods. Anyone can whistle was nominated for one Tony Wood, but did not win. They were on one point. Merely we went along was nominated for one Tony Wood, but did not win. The show went on one point. Anyone can whistle with 1.5 points. Merely we will along is 1.5 points. The reviews. Anyone can whistle received mixed reviews. They were on 10 points or at least receiving some positive reviews. Merely we will along received mostly negative reviews. They will not earn any points. Anyone can whistle with 11.5 points. Merely we will along has 1.5 points. Better plot. Anyone can whistle follows a corrupt mayor. Was willing to do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to for him to it takes to save his town from bankrupt. Mary Will Along follows a follows the story of a Broadway composer who abandons his the world he knows in the small town of Broadway to proceed to to um to move to L.A. and pers and pursue his dreams of producing movies in Los Angeles. In LA, in my opinion, in in Hollywood, in my opinion, anyone who, anyone can whistle with a better plot. They will earn fifteen points. Anyone can whistle with twenty six point five points. May only be as long as one point five points. Last of all, you knew the show has been around long enough to, or long enough or played long enough for revival. Both shows will not win any points. Also, due to how badly they both did originally, no producer in their right mind is going to give a show backing. It's gonna give someone back and reproduce them Broadway. That's a that is a recipe for failure. Anyone can whistle is twenty six point five points. Merrily we will long is one point five points. High school theater. Neither show is on a most performed high school theater list. High, so neither show win any points. Once again, because nobody cares about these shows. In the not good shows. Final tally. Winning. Merely twenty five point five points. Coming in twenty six point five points. Is anyone can whistle? That's it for today. Now go watch a play. Like and subscribe. Peace out, everyone.